Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This is your host, Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. Hey, I'm going to shout out to the notification game, Key Talk Game, for rocking with me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you get notification every single time I drop a video. Anyway, so. We got a couple topics to talk about today with the first being NBA young boys. So now it looks like that 12 and them, well, not 12 and them, but the judge has finally sent his NBA young boy, which this is big news for him because his fans has been waiting for him to come on. Now we'll say he got to do a whole lot of more probation, which he was already on probation, but kind of messed that up with the jail for playing Dr. Young boy. Uh, but also, you know, let me just actually get into the consequences uh, that NBA young boy had to face because of Act. So it says rapper NBA young boy pleads no contest to prescription fraud and he must pay 25 a 25k fine. Uh, so it says uh, the key takeaways run about the read rapper NBA young boy played no contest to, pres to prescription fraud charges in log uh, on in Logan on Monday. He paid twenty five thousand dollar fine, avoiding incarceration, leading to prosecutors reducing his felonies to misdemeanors, which is a big thing. Young boy faces a gun possession charge with a twenty six month prison sentence and 60 month probation anticipated in December. So it says, Louisiana rapper Young Boy never broke again, pleaded no contest to charge the legend he was involved in a prescription fraud ring. So he, he's admitted to it. He's like, yeah, that was meant a prescription fraud ring and it is what it is, right? I mean, he really said it is what it is, but that's pretty much what he's saying. That's what you can take away from it. Uh, and then it also continues and it says, uh, Contrell 25, who was also known as NBA Youngboy, was arrested in April uh, and was initially held at the Cash County Jail, but was later charged with federal crimes and moved to federal prison. Uh, Utah's first district judge, Spencer Walsh, said Monday he accepted uh, the proposed plea deal sentence, dismissing the case with no incarceration or probation, but just a fine. Because of Galdine's anticipation sentence in his related federal case in the District of Utah, he told Galdine he seemed like a very talented young man. Walsh said he hopes the rapper is a successful, is successful at completing probation uh, and wished him luck. John Williams, Goldie's attorney, said during Monday's hearing that he consulted with the federal prosecutors uh, for the plea deal too, and it takes into account an anticipated sentence of 27 months in federal prison, uh, followed by 60 months of probation. He said that is significant. Listen, bro. Listen, listen, listen. For all you regular people, y'all will never get deals like this. This type of deal right here the NBA Youngboy is getting is a special deal for rappers that are successful rappers. They got a whole lot of money for lawyers. You would not be getting no deal like this. Just so you know, right? So don't be trying to follow up to him, do what he do, because you wouldn't be getting this deal. Only person getting this deal is NBA Youngboy, right? Uh, and if we continue to read it, it actually says, uh, this is real. This is really a smaller cog in a bigger will of the ultimate seeking justice, he said. Deputy Cash County Attorney Ronnie Keller said the prescription fraud case began when law enforcement detained five people who were picking up a fraudulent prescription in Goldine's car. He said a call about the prescription from someone pretending to be Gwendolyn White, who could not provide a birth year, came from someone with a voice that was recognized by multiple performances matching different first names. He said investigators verified that the doctor's name on the prescription base and Provo had not entered the prescriptions. Keller said it was uh, more than just the one the use of Golding's vehicle that connected him to the case. One of the prescriptions was under his name with a fraudulent birthday and a fraudulent prescription. But bro, absolutely insane. I don't even have to read the rest of this. This is just absolutely insane. What what they were trying to pull off, right? Uh, let's skip down a little bit. Uh, in that case, it says Golding initially faced four. Okay, cool. So here's a new one. Uh, Golding ultimately pled no contest to two counts of identity fraud and two counts of forgery, both third degree felonies that prosecutors reduced to a class A misdemeanor following payment of fine of six counts of pharmacy fraud, a class A misdemeanor. In the state case, Golding initially faced 46 charges, but a majority of those were dismissed as part of a plea bargain, including a pattern of unlawful activity, a second degree felony, 13 counts of identity fraud, and 11 counts of forgery, uh, third degree felonies, plus two counts of forgery, and nine counts of pharmacy fraud, class A misdemeanor. Uh, Goldbeam filed a plea statement on September 6, entering uh, guilty pleas to unlawful transporting a firearm in two federal cases, one of which was initiated in Louisiana and transferred to Utah. During Monday, hearing, Williams said the federal court has not yet accepted the plea, but he is scheduled to be sentenced on December the 19th. 
In the state, he admitted to possessing firearms while filming a music video in Louisiana in 2020, and in 2024 to possessing a firearm at his home in Huntsville, both instances knowing he had committed a felony and was not allowed to possess firearms. Uh, so listen, man, and all, if we wrap this all up, NBA Youngboy is NBA Youngboy, so he was able to get all type of deals. Listen, he'll probably be out of jail by like, uh, let's see, uh, 27 months. He's already been in there for like two years. Uh, years, 12 months. Another, we well, ain't been there for two years. So he probably been there under two years, maybe like a, has he even been in jail a year yet? I don't even think he's actually been in jail like a whole year yet. All I know is Buddy got 27 months, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, well, 27 months prison sentence, and he's got a 60-month probation uh, anticipated in December, which is absolutely insane. The way they be giving these dudes uh, probation is what be pretty much getting them caught up, right? At least he ain't got house arrest. At least when he's out, he'll be able to perform, absolutely go crazy at his shows, I personally believe NBA Youngboy is going to have some of the wildest shows. Do I think it will be shootings there? Yes. Because <laughs> uh, NBA Youngboy is literally, you got the young, because you know what I'm talking about, the YNs. NBA Youngboy is the leader of the YNs. No contest, no doubt about it. There's no other rapper that's the leader of the YNs as much as the NBA Youngboy. Uh, he's super copied after people rapping like him, dress like him, sing like him, and it just goes crazy every time he drops, right? And that just, it is what it is. Anyways, now speaking of the YNs, huh, somebody that goes by the name of Playboy Cardi, of course y'all know Playboy Cardi. Now, listen fam, let's just keep it real. When people talk about Playboy Cardi these days, it's always they saying stuff like it's a whole bunch of flexible stuff. It's a whole bunch of, 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 of let me not say that word, you know, that word can get you banned, but it's a whole lot of that, that stuff. You know what I'm talking about? When we flip that hand like that, you know what I'm talking about? There's a whole lot of that going on Playboy Cardi. Of course, there was a viral video of somebody saying he was wearing a thong, all type of crazy stuff. But a fan went up to Playboy Cardi and he didn't just walk up to Playboy. He walked up to him and he pretty much told Playboy Cardi he wanted Playboy Cardi to sign an autograph for him. Now, the crazy part about it is it had to be one of the most fruity pictures that Playboy Cardi actually did take. It's not like it was an edited picture. It was a legit picture that Playboy Cardi posted. it. I personally believe that a lot of the, the stuff that Playboy Cardi posts, it happens to be stuff that's going to go viral, and a lot of the stuff is fruity stuff, right? It is what it is. So the fan gave Playboy Cardi a fruity picture that he took, right? He took the picture inside his car. All of a sudden, Cardi's goons hopped outside of his car, and they pretty much went after the fan, jumped him, beat him up, all type of stuff. I do got that video, but also I got the fan talking about it, uh, and I will play that for y'all. Give me just a second here. Ten minutes ago, Playboy Cardi's crew jumped me and my girlfriend all because I wanted to ask him to sign my picture. He took my picture and he told his gang, go get his phone from him. Me and my girl ran and they chased us down. And what I did is I gave him my girlfriend's phone because I have the video of him snatching it and getting angry. Here's the video. So this is him actually taking, uh, this, is, this is a video of him actually um, you know, he's taking the picture. He gave him the picture, the fruity picture of him. He's pulling it into the car. Yeah, By the way, this is the picture right here of him, right? Uh, yes, it looks feminine. And all of a sudden, his goons pop out. Give us the phone. Give us the phone. Hey, man, give us the phone. Give us the phone. The and then they're trying to chase him to get the phone. They're literally trying to chase him to get the phone. You can hear his girlfriend saying, get the F off of me. Will Playboy Cardi be sued? More than likely, they're going to sue the kind of Playboy Cardi because of this. I mean, this is great grounds to sue. And it was all over the picture. He could have just got the picture and drove out, but he told the goons to go get these boys. And the boys, they going out the... He don't look like a tough guy at all. It ain't like they're going out of people that look tough or they look like that they can defend themselves and fight. Don't look like that at all. You know what I'm talking about? So, I mean, let's see. About 10 minutes ago, Playboy Cardi's crew jumped me and my girl. And that pretty much just shows the picture again. But, hey, man, let, 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 let's look at some of the comments. Which I'm going to accomplish that. Let's see. Oh, hold on. Hopefully, Cardi can sign this. Let's see what happens. Yeah, let's see what y'all had to say inside the comment section for this, right? So uh, the first person says, I'm not being funny, but if he looked like the picture, what's wrong with him asking to sign it? 
That wasn't a pic AI or no, that's really a picture he posted. Even though his crew is wrong, y'all gotta stop playing with people. How he mad at the photo he took, and let's see if people know that he actually took it or not. I thought that was Wednesday hand, but you have to think this. Just because the guy said Cardi got mad, did he really? Or did some of his guys and no, he controls the entourage. Anytime the entourage do something, bro, the rapper's automatically gonna get blamed because he the rapper is in control of the entourage. So what the entourage does, the rapper literally either six them on the people or whatever it goes, right? Tell it to the judge when it got to try to go to court and get sued. Hey, it wasn't me. It was the entourage did it. Well, that's your entourage. That's your people. That's your crew, right? Anyways, I ain't even got to read the rest of this, fam. Uh, it just, it is what it is. People play on Cardi head top all the time. Maybe this time, since y'all seen this happen, y'all will stop playing on that boy head top. Or maybe y'all won't. Who cares? Do whatever y'all want to do. It doesn't matter at all. It's just life. Whatever you feel like doing inside of life, you do it. You see a rapper, you want to say something to a rapper, go say something to the rapper. You don't want to say something to him, don't say it to him. Maybe Buddy was trolling the whole time that gave the actual picture, right? Maybe he was trolling, which he was. Now he figured out to stop trolling. That's just one individual. But everybody else, do whatever y'all want to do. Who cares? Let me know something. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this entire deal. I'm out.